Hi there and welcome back to DMK Skoda in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around a Yankee Bravo 22 Uniform Foxtrot Whiskey, which is this fantastic Skoda Superb SE Technology hatch. It's a 2 litre diesel with 150 brake horsepower and it has a 6 speed manual gearbox and it's looking fantastic in this black magic metallic as you can see. It's a really nice sleek looking design. I'm going to show you around it now, show you some of the features. We'll start off with the 17 inch alloy wheels, all in excellent condition, really matching nicely with the chrome window surrounds there, just complementing it nicely. All tyres in great condition as well and not a mark on any of the alloys. As you can see we've got the rear tinted glass as well, the privacy glass. There's also the filler cap as usual on the right hand side. As we come around to the boot you'll see we've got the individual Skoda badge lettering instead of the central badge. And if I show you in the boot, as usual with these you get a ridiculous amount of space in here. Having owned one in the past they are fantastically practical and with the uh, centre seats down as well even more so. You've got 60 40 rear folding seats with the central ski hatch, you've got illuminating lights there, anchor points and tether points, you've got these uh, object holders so if you have a box of say beers for example pop it in and it'll stop it sliding around then you've got your usual oh, excuse me a second shopping hooks are there on either side a 12 volt charger socket and then under the floor is a space safe uh, inflation kit and some extra storage there also very very practical then the best bit is when we step into this car if you look at the seats here luxury limousine that it is you've got lovely full leather all black and all basically brand new, it, they're not a mark on any of the seats. Still got the original ice fix covers on the left and right hand side. You've got the central armrest here, drops down like so. And you've got two hidden cup holders there also with the ski hatch access there. You've got obviously electric windows in the back, you've got lovely clean floors. You've got pockets in the backs of the seats in front, you've got extra storage sections in there as well with another 12 volt charger socket. It's just very, very nice in here. Very executive. And as you come to the front, you'll see we've got the nice chromed grill. We've got daytime running lights in the corners, fog lights in the bottom corners, and it just looks very nice and very smart, this car. Then stepping into the driver's seat, again, it feels very executive in here. Again, full black leather in immaculate condition, very comfortable and padded, you've even got the little pockets in the sides of the front seats also, although I'm not sure what you'd get in there. On the centre console you can see we've got 20,410 miles, which for a diesel isn't bad, and also you've got, with these buttons to control, the virtual cockpit screen in the centre, so you can change how you view it, which is just a nice feature to have. You've obviously got your indicators on the left with adaptive dynamic cruise control down here, you've got wipers, just the front wipers on the right hand side, You've got volume control, voice control and song and radio selection here. On the other side, obviously the controls for the centre screen and also to turn off front assist or choose between a limiter and adaptive cruise. Down here, you've got automatic lights with front and rear fogs. You've got your keyless start button there. Extra storage pocket here by the driver's right knee where I'm keeping the keys currently. Here, you've got all electric window and mirror controls including electronic heating, folding and rear window locks. And then down the side of the driver's seat, you've got electric memory functions there as well, which is very nice to have. Then to the infotainment, you've obviously got DAB, AM, FM radio. You've got Bluetooth connectivity for music and for phone. There is satellite navigation and or Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Usual car settings as well. Uh, if we go on to assistant systems, you've got forward collision, um, adaptive cruise and tightness monitoring, voice control as well. With this button here, you press this, you get your front and rear sensors. However, if you put the car in reverse, they automatically come up as well. And then as well, you also have the drive mode select there too. Below that, you've got the dual climate control air conditioning system with temperature dials on the left and right hand side, and then sync sets it to whatever the driver has it set to, and fan speed in the middle. You've got heat seats for the front left and front right hand side seat with your direction buttons within. Below here you've got a third and final 12 volt charging port with a USB-C slot and storage for your phone. Behind that you've got the six speed manual gearbox, nice and smooth uh, through all of them, very economical and very comfortable on motorway or non-motorway journeys and reverses down and over next to first like so. Then there's your parking sensors button, drive mode select and stop start on or off button there. Below that you've got your parking electronic handbrake with the auto hold function there and your lock and unlock buttons there. Behind that you've got these uh, three-ish cup holders there, very handy there and they can be hidden away. 
Then you've got the storage in here with a USB port and air conditioning so you can keep contents cool. For example, in mine, I always used to have cans of pop in here or a water bottle to keep it nice and cool. This doubled as an armrest as well, just up and down for driver convenience. Then you've got an air conditioned glove box. In this one, we have all the information and all the owner's manuals in there. It's also illuminated. And finally, you've got your Skoda Connect buttons and storage for your sunglasses. So again, a very, very nice car, an executive car. If you are interested, please do feel free to visit us at Denbydale Road, Wakefield, WF27AW, or alternatively, give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time. You take care now.